To our listeners, this is another episode of Good Art, Bad Artist. Um, this time, we will talk to a comicero na whose work you have probably heard left and right, pero baka for some reason you haven't checked yet kasi it's not your genre, it's not what you're looking for. And to be honest, I was one of those people who, hearing the title, I thought, this is not my gem. This is not what I'm looking for. But I checked it out last year during COVID. And I was so surprised, particularly with the artist, na his work is not your typical Pinoy flavoring. It really has uh, strong influences. And there's uh, his work I would describe as both classic, traditional, but also very noir, very very edgy, very may pagka grunge and rough feeling to it. If his mm-hmm. songs are music, I would describe it as fucking rock, fucking uh, um, very uh, strong, very heavy on the bass. This is AJ Bernardo of Koto Comics. Can you say hello to the readers? Hello. Hello, guys. Hi. All right. And so recently, guys, he's they have released Koto Comics along with Mike Alcazarin. Tama ba? Yung name? Yep, 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 ha- yep. Has released the final chapter oh, of their yeah. six-year-long comic series, Patay Kung Patay. It is a zombie comic set in a hacienda. There's a lot of social political commentary within the work. So there are zombies on the surface, but it has a lot of strong messages all throughout. All right, so yes, there it is, guys. Okay, so this is my first question. Actually, more like a comment, and I want to hear your thoughts. Well, I was listening to your Comic-Con guesting panel about Patay Kung Patay Final Chapter. Um, it was recorded on November 20. Mm-hmm. Somebody asked about the plans to color the comic. And personally, yeah. it kind of... AJ, I hate when people comment mm-hmm. on the colors as if your decision to go black and white is simply an incapacity. is simply yeah. because you didn't color. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, uh, uh. I want to know your thoughts on people who are like, ay, dapat may kulay. Ay, sayang, black and white lang siya and red. People who see it as if the lack of color is a lack. How do you feel mm. about that? No, I can understand naman kung bakit. Ano, um, colors are easy on the eyes. And if it's easy on the eyes, it's easier to read. I can understand that na ano. And ako, personally, I've been looking at my PKP art for six years and I can understand kung bakit uh, uh, someone would uh, request na, ano, na to, be, to let it be easier on the eyes. Kasi a stark black and white kasi lagyan mo pa ng pulang-pulang-pula. It's not... Ano, Ganda kayo! I know, pero I've been looking at that art for six years eh, and I can understand kung bakit masakit siya sa mata. That's why... No, it's yung... not masakit sa mata. It's fucking good. It looks good. <laughs> yeah, I thought well, you would be mad as well because I was annoyed when I was listening kanina na this is meant to be... I think Noel said it or the other one. This I, is meant to... Ah, you said it, Michael Bayern. Ma, I was looking. Ano. I was drawing. Yeah, I, I know the guy who asked it and I... I know. And he does ask questions like that. And then, sabi ko, in-explain ko naman na, ano eh, na the, the noir tradition, di ba, may noir tradition nga na dap, dapat start black and white talaga yan kasi yung characters mo are, are all morally gray. And yung, yung red lang, hindi ko ma-explain yung red kasi gusto ni Mike na may red. So yun, um, but yeah, I can understand why people would, ano, Well, would ask for colors. It's in the noir tradition, yeah. And yun. And uh, ayun yah. To me, parang kasi yung mananggal kong comic. It's also black, mm. white, and red. 
So hmm. na kita ko na oh pareho nga pare pala kami in that small aspect. Ayun, yeah, but just to me I didn't feel I didn't think hmm. na your work na especially patay kung patay. I didn't think of it as visually lacking because it didn't have hmm. color because number one, the way you designed it was hmm. perfect for black and white. There really are yeah. artworks na kapag black and white siya. Yes. Hindi talaga ang cop or may kulang hmm. talaga about it. But I think it's a matter of art style then na uh, ayun nga it does it there are some let me just say there are some arts na dahil sa color pumapangit. Ah yeah that's I know. Yeah I can I can see that. I have hmm. some artists na naalala ko while looking at your work. Yeah. Maybe uh, Jamie Ulet who did Gorillas. Mm-hmm. Wes Craig. Um Ulet I like his art. But I was doing my style na before I discovered this. But ah, now that I've seen his art, I mean, I throw it in the mix. Eh. Gets. Dahil, it. Uh, dahil nagbasa na ako ng Deadly Class, I'll just throw oh, it in. Oh, I fucking love Deadly Class. Sobrang ganda yeah, nung yeah. sobrang saya. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then Mike Mignola of Hellboy. Yeah, of you... course. People Mike say Mignola. That... Mignola. Ah, yeah. yeah. So are those accurate and can you give me some yeah. other artists na have informed the way you do what you do? Okay. So ang the artists marami rin kasi ibang artists na ano na, na na people are telling me my art looks like them pero na discover ko lang sila after na like the quest oh. trade. So I'll separate those. The, the artists na na I directly took from I see si Sean Phillips, si Mike Mignola, uh, the, there's a Frank Miller there, yung Sin City na Frank Miller, especially sa Patay mm-hmm. Kung Patay. Mm-hmm. There's Gabriel Ba for the cartoony aspects ng Crime Fighting Call Center agents. Even though even though digital na ako mag-letter ngayon, yung lettering sensibilities is Manix Abrera. I, I, I love his lettering. Parang siyang pot of soup na pag may nakita ko, tinatapo ko na lang doon, tapos hali yes. mo na lang. And I yeah. think sometimes yung ganun, sometimes the way we use influences and other artists is intentional. Minsan kakabasa mo na lang, you wouldn't yeah. notice, tinutularan mo na pala sila in a way. Sa akin, there's conscious effort talaga. I, I wouldn't mind if people, yun, sabi ko nga, hindi naman this yun if people mm. compare my art to other people's art. Kasi, Yon, I when I see something I like, I throw it in. Eh. I, uh, parang I like how sino nga pala yung artist na yun. Basta this one artist does shadows or how this one artist uh, handles yung gradation of darkness. I just throw it in to what I'm already doing. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Yeah, that's uh, Yeah, I'm I'm actually looking at your work then. So, <laughs> I'll, I'll take yeah, from you that. You don't need to do that. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say then eh, when you, when you mentioned that you, you were also using red. You ang at least ayo, you you were also using gray tones. which which softens oh. the I know the mm. it softens the mas ma mas ma ano siya sa mata. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Well, thank you. Other yeah. impression of your work, it's very typical word, but dynamic. And I like mm. how you, parang ang playful mo pumili ng rendering of figures. Like, let me use this one sa Crime Fighting Call Center Ages. Yung ganitong angle, alam mo yun. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm guessing is not really the easiest way to go, no? Yes, pero ako, once upon a time I had... Well, I, I'm still having fun with, I know, with perspective. Parang from the start, I, I guess, I guess, I simula ako with using funky perspectives, sort of to cheat to work my way around things I cannot draw. Uh, parang okay. pinarapan ko yung sarili ko na, no, I'll just use this fish, uh, fish eye, ano, which, para lang which, ano, yeah. Which I think is interesting, kasi. Like, di feel, yung mga dinadrawing mo na complicated, parang mas mahirap nga sila tulad nung, di ba fish eye is harder to draw? Parang ganun. Yes. Ano yung, yeah. ano yung mga ina-avoid mong i-drawing na angles or figures? Uh, yeah, I'm comfortable naman with with 
all most most angles parang yun nga eh, parang nagiging crutch ko nga siya if, if, I can't, if I can't make this panel interesting I'll just make a really extreme angle na lang kasi di ba I can't move on from a panel kung kung if it, if ano eh, if, if, if it doesn't make me happy parang ganun yeah, so, yeah so either that or kung kung di, di ako masaya sa panel na to uh, mess around with the lighting Basta anything lang to get me through, ano, parang yun, hindi ko masikmura kasi having to do something just to finish it. I, 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 need, diba? I need to be somehow ano, fulfilled with, di ba? Especially I if you're not, yeah. What I see from that is that you insist on parang having fun in the process. Yes. Kasi hindi naman, hindi lang, hindi naman din kumikita ng malaki. So, I want to get something out of it. Diba? Yeah, I understand. At, I totally yeah, understand. At the very least, yeah. Oh, wala kang panel or shot na flat na nakatayo lang or flat na nagsasalita lang. There's oh. always... I mean, yeah, you do. Pero yeah. there's always a likot to it. Yeah. There's always yeah. a kulit to it nga. Na, mm-hmm. Which actually is weirds me out talking to you now. Kasi parang you seem like a very calm, collected person. <laughs> Uh, no, I've been I've been doing comics for o- over 10 years, over a decade now. When I was starting out, doon ako may angst at doon ako tanggap ko na uh, what I'm doing and what it is now and possibly where it's heading. Even if it, kung walang, walang patutunguhan, I, 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 I accept that, parang ganun. Mm, wow. You're ano na right now, you're very zen and very ano about these things. You're very I'm just, I'm just exhausted, the vibes to it. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi mo na peaceful, pagod lang pala talaga. Uh, 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 siguro ano, 40 na ako in two years, baka yun, baka yun ang zen, doon na ako mag-zen zen. I just want to tell people na like me, people who have been ignorant for a long time na have heard of your work but didn't really mm. take a look. Lalo na ngayon na it's in Pen Lab. Your comics, let me tell just the listeners, are so much fun visually. You know, the bodies are very angular in a mm. way na almost, I mean, it's real but there's a sense of exaggeration to it. But in still a responsible way, parang it's still mm. rational na, of course, ganun yung itsura nila. Hindi siya pilit to be dynamic and even the yeah. fucking faces are so fun the expressions their teeth are always out they're they're spitting you know they're shouting at each other but can you share more just of your own on your principles in shading and inking mm. okay i started using shadows as a crutch the same way i started using perspective as a crutch kasi Uh, yon yung nagsisimula ako ay na hindi ako marunong magdrawing ng maraming bagay ginagamit ko yung shadow to obscure the things i don't want to draw so yun nga when in doubt black it out lagi lagi kong ginagawa yun yung like just using silhouettes na lang and yeah yeah in a way kasi using shadows parang if you shadow the face like ganyan i wouldn't have to draw the the right side of my face dahil yes, yes. shadow naman it, it, it's sort, oh, sort of a shortcut pero it's 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 it cuts both ways din naman kasi kela kela mo pag-aralan yung shadow it's uh, di ba kailang you have oh, to study but, how how light hits you it's 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 a it's a science of optics so no, doon napasubo ako <laughs> in the it's future very... in, yeah it's very choosing your own battles. Alam mo yun? Yeah. Uh, okay, hindi mo gagawin yung ibang detailing and backgrounding mm. kasi may shadow. Mm. But now, mm. your battle is to responsibly distribute shadows mm. naman. Pero Ayan. I think that's more fun for you and ang satisfying kasi talaga mag-shake mm. ng tama, mag-ink ng mm. maganda, di ba? Mm. To answer your other question, uh, syempre, ang, uh, ay, ngayon, ngayon hindi, hindi na siya crutch at, at mas pasanin ko na yung shadow. I use it more to direct the reader's eye. If I needed the, uh, 
if I needed the subject to pop out, I'll drench the background in shadow and vice versa. If I need to re- reinforce some sort of negative space, I'll drop a lot of shadow there. I don't know. If I need to, you know, to use shadows, the, the contrast to, to make a point, uh, I'll, 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 black, you know, I'll drop it there. Mm-mm. I get what you mean. Uh, parang example, you want to emphasize the evil smile. So yun yung mm. gagawin mong focus of the light and the rest of the face could be mm. darker. Tama ba ako ng mm. understanding? Ah, ah, ah. That's a nice um... Yeah, yun nga. Kahit sa, sa, kesa expression or sa larger, what do you call this, larger images, mga mm. bahay and so on. Mm. Oh nga, no, like this one, like this one. Let's give an example. Sa so chapter 7 preview, like, yeah. the woman's yeah. body is white and yeah. not white but negative space to emphasize yeah. her hiding, her body hiding. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. May, may effort pa ako na yung, di ba, that's a pile of bodies eh. So may, sa art ng ulo ko dyan, how to light up, oh, oh, ano, yeah, ilight yeah. yung pile of bodies and then how to make them darker than the the, the lady in the And first. kasi, I think kasi hindi naman because it's negative, positive, right, bright and dark space, it doesn't mean you don't think about the math of it anymore. Hmm. You still think of the math of how the bodies look yeah. like. Yun nga, sabi mo nga, it's a shortcut, but it's not, it's a shortcut, but not really a shortcut. It's just it's, an alternate route. It's a crutch na napasubo ako. Tapos oh. pinanindig ako na lang. All. <laughs> People will hate me for this. Filipino readers of comics, they're not that ready yet for something more far out. Like, hmm. something like Patay Kung Patay. Napaka-perfect nung aesthetic and story niya for what it wants to do. But hmm. sometimes the problem is yung readership niya, hindi pa masyado, parang konti pa lang yung ipe-prefer to over something mm. more easy to process or something less demanding. Do you get what I mean? How, how do you feel about yeah. that? Um, yeah, I get naman na, ano, na it, it's, yeah, yung, the, the comics itself is heavy, yung subject matter is heavy, and then, di, di ba, as mentioned nga, yung color palette is, ano, is harsh. Pero I made steps naman to make the reading easier. Parang I want to yeah, I want, want to meet the reader halfway. Um, in terms of naman sa readiness ng ano, sa readiness ng, ng Philippine readers, I don't know. Um, mostly positive naman yung ano, nakukuha namin namin yeah. Uh, comments yeah. sa, sa PKP. Um, I, I think I'm, I'm its only worst critic. I haven't met uh, an even worse critic than I am sa PKP kasi araw-araw siyang tinitingnan for the six years. It's not about people hating it, but people yeah. not being interested to check it out. That's what uh, I'm saying. Na yung readership niya, I'm sure everyone who would have mm. the time and the effort mm. to check this out will like it mm. but the mm. thing is trying to kasi meron tayong mga preferred talaga parang the mm. general readership na ito yung madali ito yung mm. mabilis yeah 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 and it takes a li- uh, uh, yun nga I guess I understand it takes a little effort to switch to things that are di ba may, mm. may stumbling block siya eh. kaya mm. And that's why yung usapan din namin kahapon sa yung sa panel about the finale. But Mike was saying something about na may prologue yung PKP number one na tinanggal ko, na i-vetoed out, na nagkaroon kami mahabang dis- discussion. Really? I want this prologue out because it takes too long to get to the point. I, I want the zombies out by the end of the by the, end uh-huh. of the first issue. Nandun na agad dapat yung zombies. Kasi may, magiging ma- malaking ano siya eh. Stumbling block to to get introduced to the scenes. Anyway, um, I don't know. I guess I I never stop long enough to to think if readers are ready for this or not. 
at the time, I just knew I wanted to do it. At the time na pinit siya kay ni Noel yan, mm. I just knew I wanted to do it. And ako, now that you've pointed it out, maybe I'll, I'll ponder on it na ano. Wag na, wag <laughs> Let me be angry for you. Let me, hindi okay. kasi ako, marami din sa mga interview ko, alam mo yung, it frustrates me na they don't have enough audience for the genius that they do. Hmm. And then, we have like the same three similar artists that everyone's like, oh, this guy is good, this girl is good. Hmm. When there's so many ah. out there that's fucking impressive, like, what you make here? Hmm. Well, Let me mm, go. Ano rin naman eh, sa, sa promotion rin naman ay talent, <laughs> which we don't have. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. Na, I see the injustice, pero if you, you're willing to do the work, you should also do the work of promoting yourself. At True. doon, doon, doon tamad kami ni Noel. <laughs> I, yeah, gets, gets, gets. Yeah. Sabi niyo nga, you guys are reaching your 40s, so may may ganun talagang energy siguro na <laughs> hindi na kayo yeah, kasi active sa internet or cross-posting. Yeah, na hindi kami ganun, although si Noel ay may, may viral na Twitter account. Pero it's not translating to ano eh, to promotion sa ano sa comics and yon uh, diba we, we kaya ngayon we, we do our best and I I just do what I can to get what I want from the work something that looks good in text or a story type that mm. looks good as a story will not hmm. necessarily make a good comic or will not necessarily fit the comics as a medium. Hmm. My next question is like, when you collaborate, I guess Noel and you already know what each other wants now, but how much do you compromise? How does it feel when meron ka talagang feeling mo as an artist ay hindi yun yung nararapat gawin hmm. or yung gusto mo? How do you negotiate that? And the- Hindi. Kay Noel, uh, no, I don't ask permission. He'll hand me a script. The drawing ko na lang with changes without asking his permission. Oh, Tos, wow. <laughs> so, wala na siyang magagawa. Mm. So, when, yun. Pero generally, I only do that pag when I, when, pag may naisip pong idea na I can't let go na, no, this is really good. I'll go ro- on right ahead to drawing this. Mm-mm. So, hindi na ako nagpapaalam. Pero, there's a lot, lots of things na, ano eh, when I'm un- unsure of something, I, I, I'd i ask for the collaborator's permission. Kasi, yun, uh, when I'm unsure of something na ilang beses ko nire-redraw, tas di ko talaga type, ano eh, it sounds like, ano, uh, uh, like I'm doing what I want, pero, you there, there's a lot yeah there's there's a lot of things i'm unsure of uh when collaborating when i'm giving my creative input sa collaboration and when that happens i mean i constantly consult with the person i'm collaborating with pero when there's something i'm sure na i want to do i just go ahead and do it i think as in collaborations you are parents with equal responsibility mm. na hindi ka naman yaya lang nung bata mm. nung story, parent mm. rin niya mm. na kahit hindi yun yung sinabi ng other parent mm. you can tell knowing your kid, alam mo yung needs niya so siguro ganong may ganong factor, no? Uh, I guess, pero mas maganda analogy yung ano eh like, in this parent, God, as in yung Marlon Brando na Godfather na magsusulat si Noel ng something mm. and then pag, pag nakita niya na yung, yung drawing, it's something else. Naisip ko si Marlon Brando as a godfather na look what they did to my boy. <laughs> gets, gets. <laughs> and then I ask input na lang. Parang, parang Marvel way din yung ginagawa namin after ko mag-drawing. I ask input sa, sa dialogue. The first one, the first drafts you sent super sketchy, scratchy outline pa lang yun? It depends. Um, pag feel na feel ko talaga yung scene, papakita ka nga kay Noel, naka na eh. Pag, yun, I guess depends on how sure I am. Kung hindi talaga ako sure sa scene, napaka-sketchy nung ano, 
yun, it shows siguro how yun, kung yung how detailed the, the, the initial sketches will be, it shows how much I like them. Parang ganun. Pag, pag may scene na yung hindi ko talaga ma-process, hindi siya nakadrawing. Yan pag-usapan na lang namin. <laughs> For Patay Kung Patay, one thing I really enjoyed also, this is just me as a, as a, as a designer, artist, illustrator, whatever. Hmm. The cover designs, who conceptualizes the covers for this series? Uh, ako lang. Um, so next next part, just more of your, because now you've been drawing for 10 years, as you said. So mm-hmm. just want to know your comic artist lifestyle. Na how do you pace yourself? Mm-hmm. Do you like? Are you like? Oh, I'm gonna draw three pages a day, or how do you do? How do you distribute the labor throughout mm-hmm. a month, throughout a year? Well, I try to do that. By the way, impossible yung three pages a day sa akin. No, I, I know. <laughs> Based on how long kung tapusin yung PKP, that's, there, there, are, there are months na, ano, na mira ka lang three, days, um, three pages a month. I know, I know. Um, the most I can dream of, um, if I can do a page a day, mas sobrang saya ko na, feeling ko napaproductive ko na nun. And then I'd slack off for the, the rest of the week when I do a page a day. Uh-oh. I I try to to schedule a page a day or a page every two days. I try to do that, but it, it's mostly disastrous. Eh? I don't end up following it. I know, yeah, I just beat myself up over it. So, <laughs> are you the type na kunyare ten pages the set, lahat outlines muna, then then part two puro inks muna, part three mm. finishing. Or, kasi ako, what I do is complete a whole page each time. Sa akin, isa thumbnail ko muna lahat ng buong story. Sometimes I do this, but there was a time that I used to do this a lot. Tapos ngayon, uh, I don't mind it as much. Pero dati, may, I was trying to impose a, a, a routine na sa umaga, you do, while your mind is fresh, you do sketches. And then as the day as the day goes by, you do the so basa I reserve the mindless stuff sa gabi na pag wala ka ng energy, which is mostly inking. Same. Ah, uh, sa gabi pag nagi ink na, I can listen to a podcast while and turn my head off for inking. Pero pag uh, especially pag nasa nagta thumbnails, kailan absolute silence talaga yan. Oh, at, focus. Oh yeah, absolute focus talaga. So, that I used to do that. Ngayon, sabog-sabog na. I think first thing in the morning, dahil inaantok pa ako. Oh. And then, pag madaling araw na, for some reason, doon, na bu- doon ako buhay na buhay. Doon ako nag- na- nagmagawa ng thumbnails. So, uh, yun. That's, that's my non-routine, <laughs> basically. Besides the using of shadows or having your alternative routes to depict a certain scene. What mm-hmm. are some other rules of thumb, secret techniques that you can share, mga small tips, practices? I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I don't keep a sketchbook. I don't sketch for fun. Is that weird? <laughs> no, I understand kasi nga, yeah. I understand kasi yung energy mo, doon mo na siya ibubuhos sa kailangan mo talagang gawin. Yeah. I, the last time I sketched for fun, I like grade school. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Nung nag-graduate ako ng, ng art school, I went straight to drawing for, for as, as a profession. So, I think, I think I'm at a, a disadvantage doon kasi di ba, when, when you sketch, you, you hone your style more. You know? Yeah, but at the same time, kasi nga, when you make comics, it's not the same with illustrators na they just have one final thing na ito yun. Mm, uh-huh. When you comics, ang dami mo na kasi talagang, like the quantity is already mm. so much. Tsaka I think counted at sketch na yung thumbnail kasi I'm yeah. sure pag nagta-thumbnail ka, you will do it and and mm. then stay maisip mo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 with comics talaga, you're dealing with quantity. So, I guess kung may mag-add, kung may advice ako, 
sa starting comiqueros, you should think about that. The sheer, sheer quantity of pages you have to do. Not on, and within those pages, there's a billion things you need to learn how to draw. Dahil nga, quantity is, is a thing you need to... That there, because you need to take into account quantity. Find a way to draw things, to execute things the quickest way possible without looking na dinaya mo. You, you, you know, parang ganun. You, 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 kasi it sticks out, it sticks out like a thought sort of time kung, kung nga nag-trace ka ng background para mabilis lang na matapos yung ano. That, that puts the reader out of the comics. Pero just the same, find a way to do things the quick, di ba? as fast as you can. I don't know if I mentioned, pero while you're talking, I wrote hmm. in na parang use your weaknesses as your strengths or parang motives mo siya as an artist like you with the shadows. Yeah. Na parang the things, parang kasi I think we have an illusion. We have a delusion based on the internet or whatever na you have to be good with everything. Yeah, yeah. Would you say na you have all the fundamentals or ano yung ways, other ways mo to deal with what you don't know yet? And can you share? Can you share some elements na you can admit to me you were still not confident in? And how do you work around it? I think... Um, hmm. Fundamentals, I think... <laughs> I guess I, 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 I can be confident to say na I have fundamentals but only dahil pinanggigigilan ko siya. Like I take too much time checking all my fundamentals. At yun ang doon lumalabas naman yung weakness ko na it, which takes too long. Na the, the pages take ano, tend to take too long dahil nanggigigil ako sa sa fundamentals. In fact, moving forward nga, I, I'd like to do the opposite nga eh. Parang I want to unlearn yung gigil ko sa fundamentals. And, you know, I, I don't know, just to sort, sort, of, sort, sort, sort of see where, where it will go. Now we have recommend me shit where hmm. you just recommend to me or the listeners any activity, art, non-art, fun thing, TV show, music, exercise, philosophical belief, <laughs> na you recommend to us? Uh, uh, yeah, kung non comics related, I watch. I don't even watch something new. Parang what I do is I take a movie na I watched na before and then I watch it again. Ang the the only other non comic thing media that I consume ay movies which is too close to comics din naman it might as well be synonymous so ano ba? Hmm. and I think hmm. there's so much to learn yun nga instead of instead of consuming so much new stuff in order to yeah. learn from it hmm. there's a lot to learn also from reviewing rereading rewatching hmm. like sa akin naman na ganyan sa yung Breaking Bad. I mean, I've seen it before and I was impressed. Mm. Pero alam mo yung, mm. kasi when you rewatch it, you can observe the tricks and the technique. Mm. Na, mm. I'd like to go on on the record na, ano, na Breaking Bad is the best show on earth. And I, I'd like to say that kasi may ongoing, may, l- lagi kami may ongoing tall war ni, ni Adam David yun, because Adam David fucking hates Breaking Bad. The, the more na ididiin niya na he hates Breaking Bad, the more na, ano, na, na pagpipilit ako na maganda siya, na siya yung pinakamagandang show sa, hmm. I might even go a step further na, you're asking me for things to recommend. I'd recommend going on a media fast. Kasi there's too many, there's already too many media to consume. It's all being thrown at us through, through advertising. Maybe yon. I'd recommend a media fast. Maybe diba? sort of a realigning of sen- of 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 your senses. Na like, what would a story you would, how would a story you would write look like if you like didn't consume anything for a month? Gets gets. I agree. Diba? What makes good art? 
And what makes someone a bad artist? Well, this can be cliche, di ba? What good art is... I guess I'll, I'll start with the, the bad artist. What makes a bad artist? And when I say when I say what makes a bad artist, that makes that basically gives away what my answer for good art is. A bad artist, I is someone na hindi man lang naga effort uh, to, to comfort the the, uh, the uncomfortable. Parang ganon. Kasi good art comforts the the um, the uncomfortable and and put ano ano yung ano disturbs the this yon yon comforts the disturb mm-hmm. and disturbs the ano something <laughs> and disturbs the comfortable yun man lang di ka di ka man lang nag effort yeah to do more than than making something pretty can you cite examples no paano yung what do you mean anong klaseng art yung hindi nagko comfort ng disturbed Hmm. We can start with ano. I know ma- na- napakadaling punching bag ng ng su- superhero comics, but you can start with that kasi yan ay it's power fantasy, eh. It's worshiping the the powerful. Although there there are notable exceptions, pero it it that's what basically it all boils down to, yung fetishizing of power and the pa- power particularly power na concentrated to a few people mm. and then expecting them to to do all the work for, for us yon that's yon napakadaling punching bag noon especially sa 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 local superhero scene i'm not saying it's all bad oh, yeah. pero there's a there's a tendency talaga There's a tendency talaga for hmm, local superheroes to... As you suggested, it doesn't really comfort anyone. It doesn't change a narrative. It doesn't, doesn't challenge anything. And it reinforces nga yung hero-villain na uh, ang hero ay good, ang villain ay bad, black and white. Mm-hmm. That's... Siyempre, that's a very simplistic panghimay. Marami namang talaga exceptions. Oo. Walang, Pero, ano, walang mas malalim na pag-uungkat nung thing. Yeah. And gusto ko lang linawin na may marami exceptions. Pero that's that's the norm, I guess. Parang ganun. I don't see bad art anymore in terms of execution. I see bad art in terms of intention. 